Because you can! Alright. And when we get upon the mic, we rock the mic, right? Alright. So I'm Quite the cool can. Right. It does not give. Oh, yeah, this one doesn't give an ABB. I received it real last time. Do you know the percentage? Oh, no, here it is. I found it. 4.9%. Point 0.9. Point nine. Okay. I dedicate this to Kenny Solberg. The Solberger. All right. Juicy. <clears throat> well, it smells fruity, like apples, like green apples. If you're not careful, you get the green apple splatters. Foam tastes a bit like green apples. It's got that tang, you know what I'm saying? Like a good tang, like a green apple tang. Alright. So this is your pale lager. Last time I had this, I didn't like it. What's up with that? Probably just wasn't cold enough. <clears throat> Barely move. Hmm. Yeah, that was tasty. It's got some nice subtle complexities in the middle. That apple taste, and then you're getting your kind of malty, pale malt. Maybe this is what they mean by biscuity. It's all right there in the middle of the end. But it's not a real strong flavor beer, but you can tell it's kind of thick. Like there's lots of ingredients, there's lots of barley here. But it's not overwhelming in the flavor, it's just, it's just right. I like that story of Goldilocks and the three bears. <clears throat> Head on here. Many different sizes of bubbles. This is just a great water. A good representation of it. is profound. It's lacing. It's got a pretty good head on it for a pale lager. I usually don't expect much for head on a pale lagers. Because usually is none. Um, it's not overly hoppy. So if you're a lot of some of your pilsners you're finding that uh, the amount of hops are offensive to you. I would try something like this. There's not a, a raging amount of hops in this beer, that's for sure. But there's a little bit, and there is a little bit of bitterness, but it is more on the malty 
side of things. It's nice if your palate is not conditioned. Uh, sometimes the drink can taste bad. Like, never chew gum before having a beer. Spit it out, grab a chicken wing. Eat the chicken wing. Then drink your beer. You now it's for after when you're driving your car and the police pull you over. That's when you need your gum. I do not promote drinking and driving. That, that's a bad idea. <clears throat> oh, I just drank a kill Kenny's before this. I, I can't even move. <laughs> it's like I have to fall this way or that way. You know, I can't bend. So, so much in here. pay a longer people. Um, this is important. This is an important rating as much as boring as this is. Um, this lacing is not over overly hoppy. I am not getting any nasty back taste like if you off let's say your old Milwaukee or your most Canadian even or your other cheap beers. They always have that nasty. The dirty nasty in the back. <coughs> not here. This reminds me a lot of that Croatian beer that I'm going to try next. Uh, it's real good too for a lager. It's important to find good lagers out there. Lagers are very crisp and very delight. If you find a good one, they're very good, but there's a lot of just run of the mill, poopy, shitty ones, you know what I mean? Pick it up, take a drink, slosh it back down, be a layer ahead again. The motion of the drink. Let's we see it's lacing all the way down. I'm not really picking up a whole lot of alcohol in this. It's just a little bit of that green apples and that fr fruity vibrant taste. Um, minor hops, a lot of maltiness in it. Could be a lager, but you are picking up the hops. It's just a really nice combination, a real good recipe. Um, I'm guessing it's a German beer, Austria, okay, so it's Austrian beer, I had to try another Austrian beer, I think it was not too bad, you know, I just like to finish my beer for the review, I mean you can fast forward these. Just make sure they hold it till the end. This, this one do famously. Um, this is the, a whole other category of Eurolager. This is like... This is the Eurolager kind of... Well, this, this is Owen beer. But uh, the Croatian beer, the kind of closer to Russia style. Well, this is an Austrian brewery. But... Uh, I don't know if you call this exactly a pilsner or what. Most pale luggers taste like pilsners to me, to tell you the truth, but... I'm gonna nine it. Make sure your beer is fresh. And drink it cold. Nine. Zerker, nine. 